Hey YouTube, so what I'm working on today is adding casters to my mower deck for when I'm storing it or have it removed from the tractor. I'll be able to push it around the shop no problem. What I'm using is uh, these little two inch casters, mainly for cost. If you can get some bigger ones, it probably won't hurt. Uh, they have a friction ring on them, so they're just going to slide up in and that'll be while I have it still attached to the tractor. Then I can lower it down to the ground and these should touch before bogey wheels or whatever you want to call them are going to hit. So these will take, these will take the weight of the attachment and I'll be able to push it around fairly easily I think. I do know that you can switch out the pin to switch these wheels the other direction so when you're pushing underneath the tractor it's easy to do but it's just so much messing around to do that every single time you know to switch out those pins and reorientate it into the uh, other size hole so I just would rather just be able to pop in four wheels and be done with it because um, obviously it, mo it would move really easily just like it does here but you know obviously this direction I mean I bought it you know for the last you know two years I've had it but um you know, I always wanted to do this, so I figured I might as well uh, share it with you guys. So yeah, I'm going to use the four casters here for the wheels, and then I picked up a piece of pipe. The inside is going to match uh, what what the, this uh, caster will do, so this fits right inside each other. Uh, the friction ring right now is pretty tight. I might have to uh, sand it down a little bit, or maybe just use it a few times, I mean. Uh, but we'll see about that. Nonetheless, it shouldn't matter. It'll work. But, uh, so yeah, I just picked up a foot piece of pipe. It cost me, uh, what, like almost five bucks. Uh, it doesn't even need to be this long. I'm going to be cutting it, I believe, into one and a half inch chunks. And then I will just be welding it to my deck in each of the corners of the, of the deck itself. And that way I'm just going to drill a hole through this drip edge, which I'll show you. And, uh, yeah, that should be it. All right, you guys, so just to orientate you, we're at the discharge end of the deck here. I'm just starting to show you over here, but obviously it's going to go all the way around. I'm just going to use this hole that's already in here on the end. I'm going to enlarge it a bit just so that, uh, number one, obviously, it needs to fit. But also, because the hole is centered perfectly right now, I kind of want it more close to the edge of the deck here, um, just so then I can weld it directly to it. You could, uh, you know, space it off it with a metal if you'd like, you know, behind here, or just build it up with weld, but I just, uh, I just prefer to have it as close as possible. Um, but this isn't rocket science, I mean, it, uh, it's going to all work out no matter kind of how you do it. That's going to be the first location. I've just kind of made marks with a sharpie to show you. I've made that one a little bit closer uh, towards the center of the deck just because of that hole, the bolt hole there. I'm not sure if that's for a mulch kit or something. So I don't want to wreck my options in the future here. Uh, back here, it is reinforced all underneath this edge here. So just rather than drilling through it or anything, uh, I figure I'll leave that reinforcement because this edge of the deck is hanging out over, you know, it's your trim edge of the deck. So it'll be easy enough just to use this hole right here and uh, just reach in there and slip that up in there. So that's going to be the location of that guy. And then right here, very similar situation to what I was saying before. This front edge of the deck here is a little bit higher and there's reinforcement underneath there. So kind of right where that black dot is is where I'm kind of thinking it's be a good location to add the last one. So that'll give me the four corners of the deck. You could probably get by with doing the uh, three corners or you know the two back corners and maybe like one in the middle because you're kind of underneath there anyways because you got to detach um, you know your mounting plates like this. So you kind of got to crawl underneath there regardless. So while you're under there, you might be able to just to add the one, but I'm just I'm just gonna go with the four, uh, no real rhyme or reason. 